Welcome to the IM2 solution tutorial on the chapter 7 unit review for the spring. In this video, I will be covering number 1, A, B, and C, which is on proportions. The instructions ask us to set up the proportion to find the value of this variable. A proportion is when you set two ratios. I'm going to set up the first ratio here as the left hand side. This is the left hand side. So that's going to be my first ratio. So there's the seven that was on top. Then that's going to be divided by the X, which is on the bottom. That's going to be equal to what I'm going to consider as the right ratio or the left ratio. This is going to be the second ratio and it's going to be on the other side. That is going to be 9, which is on top, divided by 18, which is on bottom. Now I can cross multiply to solve. So the first one is 7 times 18. So it's 7 times 18. That's going to be equal to the other cross multiply, which is going to be x times 9. That's going to be x times 9. Let's stand in the calculator. 7 times 18 gets you 126. That's going to equal to 9x. Once you have the 9x, you notice that you have to get x alone. So you have to now divide it by 9 to both sides. Once you divide 9 to both sides, you get 126 divided by 9. That gets you your 14. And that's going to be equal to what's left on the right-hand side, which is just x. So x equals to be your 14. All right. Number B, it's the same idea. Okay. So here... I'm going to set up the right ratio, the left ratio first. And okay, so we have this. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to do Z. And that's going to be divided by 55. All right. You're like, why are you doing that? Well, what I'm doing for my first ratio is I'm doing the short this is the short right do you see how this is the short side and the 55 is the entire side so that's my ratio that's going to be equal to my other side and i'm going to set up my other side the same exact way it's going to be 12 which is the short side and i'm going to divide it by the entire side which is going to be 12 plus 32, which is 144. Okay. Now I can cross multiply. Remember, I did the short side divide by entire side. That's how I set up the ratio. Now I'm going to cross multiply. Z times 44. Z times 44. That's going to be equal to the other side, which is going to be 12 times 55, 12 times 55. Let's see what we get here. We get 44Z. That's going to be equal to the 12 times 55. That's going to be 660. Then we're going to divide by 44 to both sides to solve for Z. You have the result Z is going to be equal to 660 divided by 44 equals to 15. All right, this gets you 15. If you would like to check the ratio, just plug it back in. Watch. So I'm going to plug it back in 15 divided by 55. That equals to 0.27 ish. The other side was 12 divided by 44. That also gets me 0 0.27.
That's how I can double check that it's correct. Let's do one more. This is three parallel lines. And again, you can set up the ratios the same way. This is going to be my top side. So that's going to be my first ratio. First ratio. And I'm going to do 30 divided by 20. That's going to be equal to. So this was on top, then this was on bottom. Okay. So my other side, it's going to be 24, which was on top, divided by x, which is on bottom. And again, the green side is my second ratio here. Once we set up our proportion, we can now cross multiply. So 30 times x. So 30 times x. That's going to be equal to 24 times 20. Okay, so we get 30x is equal to 24 times 20, which is 480. Then we divide by 30 to both sides. I get now x is equal to 480 divided by 30 gets you 16. There you go. You can always plug, plug it back in here if you would like to check the ratio. But there you go. That is your solutions for number one, which deals with the proportions.